Adding integers. Three types. Adding integers where the signs are the same positive, the signs are the same negative, and adding where the signs are different. We're going to discuss those. Let's define what an integer is. An integer is counting numbers, one, two, three, four, opposites, which would be negative one, two, three, four, and zero. Some teachers, some textbooks say whole numbers, they're opposite and zero. Okay, so if we're adding two integers with the same sign, again, we're going to add the absolute value and keep the sign. So if we have two positive, that's again simply what you've been doing this for years and years. 10 plus 12 would be 22. Positive plus a positive is going to be positive. Now, when we have two negatives and we're adding, we're going to add the absolute value. So the absolute value of 7 is 7. The absolute value of 6 is 6. You add them. That's 13. And we keep the sign. Negative. Same thing with 5 and 3. The absolute value of 5 plus 3 is 8. And we keep the sign as negative. 12 plus 11. The absolute value of negative 12 is 12. The absolute value of negative 11 is 11. You add them together, you get 23. And we keep the sign. So we add the absolute value and we keep the sign. Now, okay, when we add two integers with different signs, we're going to subtract the absolute value and we're going to use the sign of the largest integer. Okay, negative 8 plus 4. So we subtract the absolute value, 8 minus 4, and we get 4. And then we use the sign of the largest integer. Negative, so our answer is negative 4. 10 plus negative 6, we subtract, we get 4. The sign of our largest integer is positive, so our answer is positive 4. Negative 12 plus 9, we subtract the absolute value and get 3. And the sign of our largest integer is negative, so our answer is negative 3. 10 plus negative 3, or negative 3 plus 10, we subtract and we get 7. And we take the sign of the largest integer, which is positive, so our answer is 7.